So basically this car is a 2004 Jaguar uh, X-Type 3 liter engine and uh, I had uh, apparently an issue with the throttle sensor and I'm gonna show you very quick what it does. Uh, we're gonna start up the engine and it's running fine right now but uh, as soon as I step on the gas pedal it usually goes into a limp mode there it is and the RPM stays up a little bit and the car won't budge yeah. talk to the car's computer for a second here I'm gonna read it in make sure we're on the right page Computer, quick getting some reflection in the smartphone screen. Um, let's see what that code is. Hello, hurry up. There we go. So it is. P1344, the P1000 I think is just a generic code, but the P1344 is what we after. And I looked it up on the internet and supposedly that uh, has to do with that um, throttle sensor which is immediately at the uh, gas pedal on these fly-by-wire systems. That's not just a keyboard running into the engine, but it's a um, computer controlled system so it has a sending sensor, receiving sensor, blah 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 and when it detects that something is wrong it goes into that limp mode and I don't think the car goes after that any faster than about 15-20 miles per hour just to get you off the road in time but uh, uh, that's something which needs to be fixed. All right, let's get to it. The uh, throttle sensor, which is basically that, uh, is the gas pedal, and the sensor is just above it. And I'm gonna show you how to remove it and take a peek inside, see if anything is wrong with it. And what we can do about it. Installed a di slightly different style earlier than what the original was. This is still the original pedal which I left in there and that was the that was the new one. But uh, always experimenting on this car, no wonder it craps out on me. <coughs> but uh, there is like a electrical plug up here it's secured by two tabs and we have to kind of squeeze those tabs together and we go the plug out to disconnect it it's stubborn so anyway that electrical connection if it's disconnected, it's a one-way plug, that's what it looks like. And this sensor here is held in place by three uh, three knots and we're gonna remove those quickly and uh, this assembly just drops right out. Okay, so to remove those you'll need a 10 millimeter socket. There's one on the bottom and two on top. Probably only 
feel with your finger and you need a body of a snake just to get in here. After those three knots are removed, this assembly just drops right out. So basically I got both units here, um, this was the original one which goes with that pedal in there It kind of hooks into it from the side and This is one I tried in there and uh, it uh, came off with some error, computer error So we're gonna take the old one and we're gonna take it apart and see see if there is anything wrong with it. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove those screws and see what's inside. Okay, so I remove those screws and we'll carefully remove the top lid. And we can see that uh, there's a rows of contacts. Looks like the uh, right hand side one is slightly damaged. I don't know. It's kind of what it looks like, but those contacts riding on the inside of this uh, lid on the electrical circuit board. Hmm. Yeah, they look like they look like little rakes or something. It's uh, hmm, I don't know how durable they are, but looks like uh, one row is deformed. I'm gonna see if I can straighten it out very carefully. They look tiny. So what I did is I kind of untangled with an exacto knife the one switch looked kind of damaged, it's very delicate. Untangled them as best as I could and very carefully pushed them up. A whole, the entire four rows I pushed up a little bit for a, a little bit more preload when it comes in contact with the top lid. So we'll see if that's gonna work. I'm gonna I'm gonna put everything back together and and give it a try. So what we'll do is uh, carefully reinstall the top lid. Like so. Looks like it has some slotted adjustments and we can tell actually where the screw was. So I'm gonna just put the screws back and see if we can keep the same adjustment in place. Before I reinstall this sensor, um, I'm gonna just quickly plug it in, uh, see if it made any difference, see if it fixed it. Fixed it. So for now I just plugged it in, it just dangles there, and uh, let's find out. Still get the terror. Might have to uh, reset the computer and uh, retrain the car. Okay, so it should drop down an RPM. There she goes. Now we're gonna kind of. Actuate the gas pedal to see what happens. Well, it's not going into limp mode anymore with this sensor. Hmm. So far, so good. So to get rid of that uh, 
car engine symbol on the dashboard. All we have to do is clear the computer with that app called Torque. Go to fault codes, scan it. It takes a little bit. There's the fault codes. It had P1344 before 1216 powertrain and P1122. Let's see if it's still there after we clear it. Car engine symbol is gone, and the fault is empty. Let's go back quickly and rescan it. And it came back with the generic P1000. That doesn't concern me. Uh, Alright, so far so good. Let's, uh, let's torture her more. Make sure. Now the only question is how long it's gonna last. Uh, throw those mounting screws back. Okay, so with this version of gas pedal configuration, uh, basically, oh, this is awkward doing this by one, with one hand. Uh, the gas pedal hooks in there like so. And I'm gonna line up the holes with the bracket. Make sure it's set in there properly. Okay. Now all we have to do is tighten them. to be super tight, they're not gonna go anywhere. Let's make sure it's working properly. The 
let's start the guard. Seems to be working. Oh, good. So, this is how you replace a pedal with the sensor on a Jaguar. I think I'm gonna take that older one and retire it for a while. That wasn't the right fit for this model car anyway, so it's not even the same part number. But I'll keep it around to play with.